Go, 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 chase, chase. Got one. But you know how people on diets have cheat days? Today's my cheat day because I'm using live bait to catch fish. Just doing some urban angling with some free time that I got from uh, having a babysitter today, which is incredible. But let's see, is he gonna see that? Is he gonna see that? And like that, that's how we're gonna start the episode with a fish on and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It should be fun. Ah, get that hook out real quick. Look at the colors on this thing. You know, it's not a big one, but it's a great way to start the day. Hell yeah, let's go. But this is how the day actually kicked off. All right, I got my coffee here at Riconcito and uh, he passed out, so I gotta put him in the truck, go back and grab my stuff. Got him stored right next to the tackle boxes and backpacks. If anyone ever wonders where I get my colada in the morning, typically it's here because it's literally around the corner from my house. And if you need to get your grill clean, right there, grill cleaning services. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today, I am just doing some urban angling. I have a couple hours because I was able to get a babysitter. The last few days, I've been at home with the baby and being two months old, he demands a lot of time, so I haven't been able to edit and I haven't been able to go fish because I can't leave him in the truck with the window cracked, you know? I can't, I think that's frowned upon. If I could, best believe I would. But, you know, my wife is off of maternity leave, maternity leave, and she's, back at work so right now I have to rely on babysitters or myself to be home with the baby so uh, I was able to sneak away from the house a little while I've got a couple hours so we're gonna see if I can slam out a few fish in these couple hours that I do have and uh, to save time I've got some live bait if you can hear the buzzing in the background that's the loud bubbler that I got I'm just gonna cast them out and try and catch some fish for you guys got any questions you know about peacock bass fishing or Miami fishing or or anything like that you know just drop them in the comments I'm, I'm I love answering questions I like interacting with everybody so no matter what it is just drop a comment you know let me know what you think of, of the channel and whatnot and we'll go from there but you know I'm in traffic right now I'm filming and driving at the same time which is why mostly I'm not looking at the camera just glancing over uh, just trying to be safe here but I would like to put the camera down because I'm passing a car and I need to get to the next spot. So guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel with your notification bells on and I will see you in a minute. All right, guys. I'm lazy today. Grab some shiners and I just want to drop them in to see if I can catch something today. I got about two hours to fish. That's it, two hours. Pipes are right over there. I don't want to get it into the pipe. Not being picky today, I just want to catch some fish. Get out of the house. I've been home with the baby for two days straight. And I need to get some content for you guys. So here we are. So Florida is known for its rain showers and thunderstorms and hurricanes and the whole nine. And this week's been no different. It has been raining like, like crazy. Like absolute monsoons coming down here in South Florida. And the water levels in the canal systems are extremely high. The water drains off into the canal systems um, to prevent flooding down here. And what that does is it changes the salinity of the water, it changes the temperatures of the water, and it changes the amount of current that's in the water if a floodgate is to be open. So right now I'm trying to locate a spot where the fish might wanna be hovering up uh, during a time like this. I'm driving along this canal bank and I just saw a largemouth chasing a smaller fish. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can catch it. I'm gonna see if I can catch it, you know? Let's break some ice. Yes, I am using live bait. If you want to say I'm cheating, I really don't care because I'm out here catching fish for fun right now. So let me grab a little shiner, boom. 
right through his lip. And uh, let's go catch a largemouth real quick. Please still be there. I see him. Okay, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Let's go right, right here. Boom. Right there. Get it, fool. Get it, fool. You're looking right at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought that was gonna be a slam dunk. What the heck? So I may have lied about that largemouth. Did not lie about seeing it, but it definitely had no desire for the live bait I was throwing, the shiners. None at all. Did not commit to them, nothing. I got a few more shiners, but there are some grass carp here. So I'm gonna catch some grass carp, but first let me see if I can catch some other types of fish out here. I'll bring you with me since my uh, camera doesn't wanna turn all the way around. See one peacock bass, he's not big, but we'll catch him anyways. Let's see, let me throw that one in there alive. Chum it up a little. And throw one with the hook in his lip. See what happens. See another decent sized peacock over here too. Go, 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 chase, chase. Got one. Oh, what the hell? Did I just get that on camera? It finally ate and I didn't get the hook set. All right, we got one. Beautiful peacock bass. This one I want to say is a popoka. I'm going to show you the spots and stuff on it. Look how pretty that fish is. Tiny fish, but that is a beautiful peacock bass. Finally broke ice. Finally broke ice. Guys, I just, I'm driving along the canal and there's a carp right on the edge right here. A nice triplet grass carp. I wanna see if I can catch him. I know I've got some live bait, but if I can catch a nice giant fish today, that would be great. <sighs> Grab some bread. Well, if he's not spooked, he probably spooked now. Ah, oh, bread is in here, huh? Bread's in the back. Found it. Got the bread. Now this carp is just sitting there feeding on the edge. So I'm just gonna drop a ball kind of right where he's feeding and uh, see if he takes it, if I don't spook him or if the truck didn't spook him already. So let's just put this bread on like this. We want this to sink. And then uh, let me grab this other camera here. All right, so now we got both perspectives. Ah, oh, he was right here somewhere. He was right here somewhere. Did I spook him? He was right on the edge, right against the rocks feeding, you know? And the idea was just to kind of drop this ahead of him and let it drift right back into his face so we ate it. Fish was sitting right there too, the whole time. Even after I stopped the truck, I peeked out, he was there. It was just the tailgate when it went down, I guess that loud creak was something he wasn't used to hearing. Oh, I just spooked another one that was literally right there. Yo, camera. Ooh. I almost saved my camera, but I did not. I just, I can't quite get over the ledge here. I don't want him to see me, so I'm like kind of ducked back. I gotta get it right behind him, like so. Let's see if he'll go forward and eat it. I done did it wrong, boys and girls. I done did it wrong. He's coming back in, so. Let me do a floating piece. There is another carp coming. He's racing to the surface. Racing and, oh, I got that on camera. I know I got that on camera. Got him. Ah. 
racing straight at me now. Beautiful run. <sighs> nice fish too. Nice size. Say maybe 20, between the 20 and 30 pound range. Let's zoom that in for you guys. All right. Let me back that a little bit. Not a bad carp. Man, he just came and slurped it. I knew if I let it sit there. I knew if I let it sit there, he would uh he would come back for it. And actually a second one came back. The other one came back off the side. This one came from underneath and I saw it just kind of rising up like this and boom, it beat the other one to it. Okay, let's uh get my camera a little closer. Let me try and find somewhere I can get closer to the to the water. <sighs> hey, got me a fish. Just need to get down here. Ooh, ah. These rocks were definitely designed to not be stepped on. Look at that rock there. Woo! There, I need to be able to stand on something. And that's a boulder. Okay, I think I'm good. Perfect. Uh, let me sit my tuchus right here. And I am going to pop this camera off. Look at that grass carp right there. Uh, yeah. Let me see if I can get this guy out of the water for you guys. Having a bum knee doesn't make this easy. There we go. There you guys go. Nice little grass carp action right there. Let me get him back in the water real quick and uh, unhook him. There you go. And he's off just like that. Got me a fish. Yeah, I don't like to flip him up onto the land too much or get him out of the water too much because for whatever reason, they are not the toughest fish and their slime is, uh, you know, it wears off pretty easy. So I do my best not to put them out like that. I am dizzy right now. So I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be right back. So there it is. I caught four fish, three uh, small peacock bass and one nice grass carp, a triple -A grass carp. I hope you guys enjoyed the information about that. I think I need to start going for some uh, bigger fish though. Tomorrow, my daughter has a soccer game up north and it's right in the area where I believe that there are some good snakeheads and some good fishing. There's there's water around the park, so I'm gonna go early and uh, I'm gonna try and catch some snakehead tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that, you know, and my, my boy's getting bigger. He's only two months old, but you know, pretty soon he's gonna be two years old and he's gonna be learning how to use a fishing rod. So just, Stay with me on the adventure. You know, I'm raising raising a new baby and uh, we're just out here fishing and uh, hopefully I can do some camping and some overnight stuff. I'm gonna be targeting some, some big black drum soon, some snook, I'm gonna get my boat back out to Flamingo. You know, uh, tarpon, gotta go get some tarpon as well. I'm kinda 0 for 3 on my last three attempts, I believe. So it's time to uh, make good on that promise that I'm gonna catch a tarpon. But all in all, man, I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching the videos. Make sure you drop some comments and give this video a thumbs up so, you know, the YouTube algorithm knows that people actually like my content. And uh, that's it, guys. Keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.